Welcome to Cadu e Larissa without Larissa <laughs> Brazilian Zoo class. So this hour almost, I'm going to show you guys very important uh, fundamentals of uh, Brazilian Zook. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it um, as much as I do. And as you can see, Larissa is not here with me right now. I am in Spain, she's in the US. But I'm going to show you leaders and followers. The footwork, the upper body movement, the lead, the follow. Um, everything that you need to know. Uh, about the basics of Brazilian Zook and then then we're gonna put it all together right so at this point we're gonna start with the basics which for followers and leaders will be exactly the same so you don't have to be together yet so I'll start uh, facing that way first so but I'm gonna keep changing directions so you guys can see me in a different angle but I'm gonna keep talking so then I hope you guys can hear nicely and I'll tell you when is the left, the right leg, so we'll make a little bit more sense, depends on the angle that I am, all right? So to start with, I would like all of you to put your weight on the right leg, keep your left free. So what we're gonna do here is one step back on the left, then we're gonna take another step back on the right, shift the weight and push forward again to the left. Okay, so let's try one more time. So we go here, left, right end. Then here what I do, I go forward on the right foot. So I go right foot, then I go one more forward on the left and return. Forward, return. So we can restart everything again. So we go back, back and forward, forward and back, back and forward, forward and back. One more time. Back and forward, forward, and back, back, and forward, forward, and back. Great, easy, right? So we're gonna do facing this, maybe this way first, because there's important things that I would like to explain to you all, as I want you to keep following what I'm doing, okay? So, before we all do together, so you transfer your weight to the right. Now, as you go back on the left foot, you step on the ball of your foot and then you transfer the whole weight to the foot, right? Now, as you go back on the right, you need to step on the ball of your right foot, transfer your weight without letting your heel touch the floor. So as you go back, you transfer your weight, keep the heel up, then you replace again, shifting your weight forward again to the left. Reason why we don't want that heel to relax down it's just not to let sit. We don't want a disposition as we go back. Okay? Leaders and followers. What we're looking for is as we go back, we are ready prepping to return. So it means I shift my weight, but I'm ready prepping to come back. Right? So then I step on the ball of my foot. There, there, there is no suspension. Okay? So we don't want to change the level. Not even up or down. So we keep the same level. So we push the floor, then return center. Then I go forward on the right foot. Then the same thing is gonna happen on the left. The intention is to step on the ball of your left foot with the intention to return straight away. So you push the floor to come back to the right. Push the floor to come back to the right. Okay, let's try it together. So we go, starting going back on the left leg. Okay, so we go seven, eight, and one, two, and. Forward three, four and five, six and seven, eight and a one, two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and a one. Okay, so now I'm gonna do facing this way. I'm gonna repeat the same thing one more time. There's just one, two more things important to say about this basic foot and back for leaders and followers. Uh, first, the step as you go, remember um, to always keep your, your feet open. Um, never step with your feet parallel. Okay? When I have my feet open, it is easier to control balance. Pretty sure you all know that already. Uh, the other thing important is the counter body as you're take, taking that step. So the same way as when we walk, 
So we walk with the arms go opposite, right? So it's that little counter body, upper body rotation, isolation, twisting. I know how we can say it better. Uh, the same thing happens as we do in the basic step. Okay, so if you'll have a look, I'm gonna make it a little bigger just so then you, you have idea. But of course, when you are dancing, you're not gonna make that much rotation. So you shift the weight, so you go prep, and then the rotation starts straight away before you go backwards, before you shift your weight back. Okay, so you prep, you go rotation to the right, left, and right. So now I'm talking about the rotation, not about the foot. Okay? So rotation left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. As I said before, you will not do that that big as I'm doing right now. It's just so you know what, what meant to be. Okay? So I'll go this way now. So um, the same thing if you guys do with me. Okay? So practice again. Put your weight on the right. And now we go very slow again because I want you to think about the, the footwork but also the upper body um, rotation. Okay, here we go. Seven, eight, and a one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and a one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven. Eight and a one, two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight again, one, two and three, four and five, six and seven, one more time, and a one, two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and a one. Cool. In terms of timing, as you can see, our pose or accent will be always on the down beat, which is going to be always the odd numbers. One, three, five, seven. Okay? Um, so we starting going backwards. So then your, your accent, I would say like this, your pose, <laughs> again, down beat. Okay? So have a look. We go seven, eight, and now one. Two and then I go three, four and back five, six and seven, eight and one. We always be like this. Of course, when you get in a intermediate and above level, um, a few things might change as you go. You might speed it up or slow it down, but always exit. Always the the accent will be always the downbeat. That's something very important to get used to from the beginning. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do again the basic step separate, right, uh, with the music, and then we're gonna do it together. Go this way first. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, partner so we're gonna try it together so one thing important to do as we have uh, we are with the partner um, Brazilian Zouk as you guys all know came from Lombada and Lombada we used to dance very close to each other so Zouk is still the same idea on that point so the important thing is the leaders will always have their right foot between your followers feet so I'm always going to have my right foot there. As my follower, we have the feet pretty much parallel or maybe just one at the back. It's okay. It's fine. Right? So for the leaders, I need to have the right side of my, the whole body, I would say, facing my follower. 
I am not really toes to toes like this, like completely facing my partner because it might be sometimes a bit, not too much, but some followers might not feel that comfortable, right? So what I do is I rotate a little bit diagonal so I keep the right side to connect it to her or to him as a follower, right? And my chest is facing there, but the right side is touching my follower. And then my follower is going to be here with me, or straight facing me, because then the leader have the space, the follower feels a little bit more comfortable being facing the, the leader like this, instead to be like that. Okay, it's just a little bit diagonal. Now, I, we understand that depends where you are. Some people don't like to be that close to each other, which is totally fine. We still can do the basic with space between us, right? So we still can do basic like this, or we can do the basic like that. Either way is correct, okay? Now, um, when we started, leaders, it's important to the right arm be at the same level as your follower shoulder blade, not too high, not too low. Shoulder blade level is the best. If you can reach your follower right shoulder blade, great. If you cannot, for whatever reason, stay with the hand in the middle of her back or his back, but at the same level as you. Don't keep your right hand on the left shoulder blade because then that's your position. So what we're looking for is this or even that, okay? So leaders left hand, you're gonna hold your partner right hand and this hand should be the palm facing her or him, right? And the level is gonna be the same level as your partner's shoulder, like this, for example. Okay, same level, not too, not too high, not too low, not too open, not too close, just comfortable position, same level as the shoulder, just right here. So that's the first position we're looking for. For the followers, your left hand, um, Try to place it on your on your leader's back, the back, not in the neck, but behind the neck, right? Um, or maybe even on the right shoulder, right shoulder, yes, at the back, almost shoulder blade too. So the hand talking to the followers on the leader's arm, uh, to start with on this, for our style, will not be that comfortable, we don't use that much. So all you place on the shoulder blade, on top of the shoulder blade, the right side for the uh, leaders, or behind his back, right in the middle here, not in the neck, but right here. Either way, comfortable, okay? So we have this position, I'll go this way to start with. Have this position now, grab your partner leaders. Now that you have your partner, you're gonna shift your weight to the right, as the follower gonna shift to the left, and then we're gonna do the same basic we did before, but now together. Okay, so let's try. Here we go. Seven, eight, and a one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and a one, two, and three, four, and five. Okay? So we're gonna do the same thing again with the partner. Prepare, go this way now. E, five, six, seven, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, The second one we call lateral, right? I'm gonna start with the leaders first, then I'm gonna do the followers, then we're gonna put it all together, okay? So leaders, let's do half basic steps. So we go back and stop before we go forward on the right foot, okay? Seven, eight, back, one, two, and. 
Now here you're going to finish your half back basic, stepping forward on the right foot, and step. Now you're supposed to go forward again on the left, so go left and return. So now what we're going to do is, talking about footwork first, you're going to stay on this position, we're going to just replace left, right. Instead to go forward, what I will do, spot, spot. Okay, let's run one more time. Just the leaders. Um, separate first, okay? So leaders only. Seven, eight, one, two, and three. Now is where I stay. Four, and. Now I go forward on the left on five. Five. All right? So let's try one more time. Seven, eight, ten, one, two, and three. Now I stay four and now I go left five. Beautiful. I go this way now, different direction. Seven. It's starting leaders again on the left. E one, two and forward three. Now I will, I will stay. Step step four left five. Now leaders, I will stay facing this way. So after this step. What you're gonna do is still again talking about the footwork. What I'm looking for is to go forward and forward and uh, making like a U, a U shape on the floor. So my weight now is on the left because this was my last step. Okay, so now the right foot, it goes forward. Shift, put your weight forward on the right. Now return back to the left and open again the right as you put the weight there. Same thing happened on the left, so we go forward, return, back, and open, so it again, forward, return, open, forward, return, open, again, forward, and open, forward, and open, forward, and open, forward, and stop. The same idea as we spoke before of stepping of your foot open, continue, especially now. So leaders, as you start what we call lateral, doing the, uh, creating the U shape on the floor, you go forward, you go forward with your, your foot open, okay? Then return, then open again. So again, open, transfer, side, open, transfer side. Now, the upper body similar to basic is to have the rotation. So, when I go forward on my left foot, my upper body rotate to the left side. Then I come back to the center. When I go forward on my right, my upper body rotates to the right side, then come back. I'm gonna explain to you after why we need that. Okay, so from now, let's go back from basic. Leaders starting going back on the left. Here we go. Seven, eight, and one, two, and stop. Now we prep. E, back, step, left. Now here I go the U shape on the floor. Lat it up. Okay? So we go forward and open. Rotation. Forward and open. Forward and open. Forward and open, forward and stop, okay? One more time, leaders. Uh, this time slowly, but trying not stopping, okay? So here we go, well, seven, basic, one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and then one, two, and three, rotation, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven. So from this position, we go back to basic steps, still talking to the leaders. Sorry, followers, I'll go straight away to you after that. So leaders, your last step doing lateral was on the right foot. 
So now what I need to do is go in front of my partner. So my left that was supposed to go this way, instead to go that way, I go this way. So what I do is I go forward on the left, then I adjust going a little bit back on the right foot. So now what I can do is just return to the basic. Back, back and full. Let's try it again. So leaders, you finish on the right foot. So then I go this way now on the left. Left, I just going back a little bit on the right. Right, then I start the basic step. Basic, two and three. And then again, together. Seven, eight, step, adjust. Basic, two and three, four and five. Okay, before we go to the followers footwork, leaders, let's go again all the way from the top. Basic, lateral, back to basic. Okay, here we go. Seven, eight, and one, two, now three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one. Back to basic. Two, and three, four, and five. Six and seven, eight and a one. Okay, so as I go back to the back now, as I will start the follows for torque leaders. If you want to practice, okay, because yours um a, a part of doing all this, you 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 need to lead your partner. So if you can keep practicing, as I'm gonna try, do the the followers now, it'd be great. So followers, yeah, buddy. I'll go this way first. Um, because we're gonna be just a little easier than I change, okay? So followers, we're gonna start the basic. This time going forward on the right foot. Followers, okay? Seven, eight, and one, two, and three. Now is the time that the leaders will stay on the spot instead to come forward, right? But for you, it doesn't change. You still need to do your back basic. So then we go back to basic. Back and stop. At uh, this time, your partner will not be in front of you anymore, so now you don't have him right here. So what's going to happen, you're going to do what we call lateral, and in your case, it's going to be a step pivot. So your last step was your right. Now, here follows what I need you to do is take a step forward on the left. Try not to, try not to let your heel touch the floor. I, I think now it's going to be just a little bit tricky, but the whole idea is, you're gonna step on the ball of your foot. Now you're gonna do a rotation pivot and shift your weights again to the right. So basically what you do is just a step and pivot, pushing your weight forward always, okay? So again, you finish on the right foot. Now is when the step pivot start. So follows we go, left, pivot, right. Now I finish going forward on my left, left. The same thing is gonna happen on the right. Step on the ball of your foot, rotation, pivoting, forward again. Seven, eight, step, pivot, stop. So restart everything from here. And step, pivot, and step, step, pivot, step. Now, is it's, it's gonna be important to understand it now that as you finish your pivoting, try to keep your ties together. We don't want to lock it, okay, but also we don't want to leave it open, right? So we want to leave it natural but close, which means when you take that step before you pivot, that step before you pivot, it should be just a normal size step. It cannot be too little, but also cannot be too big. Because if it's a big step as you pivot, that's how you finish. Okay? So if you take a normal size step as you pivot because you're shifting your weight forward, you're naturally going to have your ties together. That's what we're looking for. Okay? So let's try one more time. Let me just uh, keep this on. Good. Let's try from the basic. Uh, followers together, starting with the right foot. Sorry, I'm adjusting myself. I have a little mirror over there, so keep looking. Well, uh, seven, basic. One, two, and prep. 
four and stop. Now is the step pivot for the followers. Step pivot. One, two, and three. Four and five. Six and seven. Eight and one. So the same thing I told to the leaders of, of, about the upper body rotation. For you followers, it will be quite similar. Okay? So when you start your step pivot, your partner will be on this line. So he's going to go in to opposite direction you are. So the whole intention, you should try to go opposite direction, but facing each other. We don't want to go opposite direction like this. Okay? We want that connection. So, as you finish right here, let's pretend you have your partner. I'm going to talk about the hand grip after that before we go together. But let's just focus on the footwork and upper body right now. So, here, as I go forward, I do that pivot, but pretending that my partner is right there. So, I keep my intention, the direction of my upper body facing him or her, the leader. Okay? So, here we go. Step, pivot, and step. Pivot and step. Pivot and step. Pivot and step. We don't want to lock the arms. We don't want to lock the upper body. We don't want to change the level as, um, as you're doing this as well. We want to try to make it a natural possible. So your rotation will be as much as you keep it natural and comfortable for you. Some folks can rotate a lot. Some folks need to rotate just a little. The important thing is to feel natural and to feel comfortable. Okay? So let's try once um, without stopping. Slowly followers. And I hope your leaders are practice, practicing still. <laughs> All right? So here you go. Seven, eight, and one, two, and now. Four, and five, six, and seven. Eight and a one, two and three, four and five. Yeah, buddy. Now we're gonna do it one more time, very quick, because when the leaders decide to go back to basic followers, the only thing you need to do is just return basic here. You go from basic to step pivot, right? Because he's the one that get out of your line. Then from here, he's the one returning to your line. And then you just go back to basic so far. Okay? Um, let's start um, together. Okay? So, leaders, grab your partner. As you're doing this, let me just drink of water. You're grabbing your partner. Yeah, buddy. Sorry. Now, same thing again, leaders. Right foot there. Um, together. So we're gonna start the basic step. Seven, a full basic. Full basic first. Seven, eight, and a one, two, and three, four, stop, five. So leaders, now you go back, you shoot together with your partner. The only thing you're gonna change so far is when you step forward again on the right foot, leaders, the right arm that is embracing your partner here will just release. Not pushing, not pulling, not doing anything. So from this position, you're gonna do this, okay? Seven, back, back, and release. As you release your partner, she still needs to go back to finalize her basic. That's when your leaders will just stay on the spot, okay? So let's try that from the beginning. Seven, full basic first, eight, one, two, and three, four. Prep now, release now. Seven, eight, and one more time. Seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four. Now, prep, release, and seven, eight, and. Now, before we continue, Let's just talk about the hand grip. I'll get closer here so it might be easier to see. Okay, so when we're dancing, we are like this. So this is leader's hand, follower's hand. So we like this. So when is the time that the leaders release? Okay, so we go from this position 
to this position. So the two, the two middle fingers, leaders and followers, will be connected, okay, right there. So we don't want to have the gun hand as we're dancing. We don't want this, but the connection, right, is going to be the two middle fingers. The fat part, as Larissa normally say, and people normally say, what? I don't have fat part on my fingers. But this part here, between the palm of your hand and the beginning of your fingers, are the ones that will be connected. Of course, the other, the other fingers will be relaxed, but the connection is that one. So as you lead, as you release your palm from this position, the only thing you do is release to this. That's what we're looking for. Now, see the big thumb? So we will not dance with the thumb pointing up. We're gonna maybe rest there. Some leaders will keep it not connected, which is correct. But two things that we don't wanna do. One, keep the thumb up. Two, squeezing her hand with your thumb, okay? So you can rest the thumb on top of her hand, on the back of her finger, let's say like this, but there is no tension, there's no pressing. It's just resting or maybe almost touching, okay? So one more time, we go from this to this. And that's how we're gonna do lateral. So the leaders you're gonna have the palm diagonal inside facing your partner, okay? Followers, you're gonna rest your hand on top of his hand. So keep in mind that I'm holding my own arm and my follower needs to be uh, responsible to hold her or his own arm, okay? So I don't wanna feel any pressure on the hand. I don't want to feel the arms tense, right? I'm controlling myself, expecting my follower to be controlling him or herself too, okay? Now, once we have this position, that's why we go back to the uh, upper body rotation. The indication from the leader to the follower where to go comes from the frame doing this rotation, okay? I will not use power to drag my partner go across. I don't need this. What I need is that rotation, kind of like indicating that's where I want her to go, or him, okay? So this is why I said leaders, when you started and followers, to have this rotation, because that's how I tell her where she goes, just like this. I don't use this hand to do that. I don't close my hands to don't lose connection. I keep the two middle fingers as I, expecting my follower to have that. And your follower is the same thing. So you keep the arms uh, firm, but not resting on top of his arm. So you need to be able to control your own arm, doing the rotation, doing the dancing here. You need to be able to control that yourself. Don't rest on top of his arm, okay? Last thing is leaders, the frame here, some leaders prefer a little bit high, the same level as your chest, I would say. Some leaders prefer a little lower, the same level as your hip. Either way is correct, is nice, okay? Me, I do personally, I prefer just a little higher, but sometimes there's a few things that I prefer the, the, the frame just a little lower. So either way is fine, there's no right or wrong, both ways are correct. Let's go together from base. Uh, seven, eight, ten, and one. Two basic, three, four, and five, six, and seven. That's when you release the arm. Leaders, remember not push or pull. Now, as you stay, that's when you change the grip. Cha, cha, you change the grip, okay? So now your partner needs to come forward. You are in front of her. So what you're gonna do, your next step on the left is gonna be diagonal because you need to get out of her line. So you are here, as she's coming forward, I go diagonal. Then she comes forward. Then as my partner go that way to start the step pivot, I go this way to start my U shape, okay? Then I go right here, cha, cha. At this time, I'm holding her both hands, okay? Then we start at the off from here. Right? Let me do it as a follower once. Seven, and you leaders, you do together, but I will do the follower part. Seven, eight, ten, one, 
two, and three, four. Now, breath, six, and seven, eight, and. So we change the grip already. The followers, you go in your straight line. The leaders are the ones that need to get out. Seven, eight, one, two, and three, four, and five. Okay, so let's go one more time. So I'll go back to the leader's way without stopping this time, okay? Uh, seven, eight, and a one, two, and three, four. Breath now, release, change the grip, diagonal one, two, and three, four, and five, six, stop on seven. So leaders, you stop, you stop on the right, followers, you stop on the left. Now, the followers will do again step pivot on the right because your followers, you finish here on the left. Followers, I need you just to do this. Step pivot going back to basic, okay? Leaders, you finish on the right foot. Now, what I need you to do is what we did before. You go forward on the left, just a little bit back on the right, then restart the basic. One thing important, leaders, is the right hand. At this point of time, you are holding her both hands. When you decide to go back to basic, your right hand will release her hand and you're gonna reach her shoulder blade as we did at the beginning. So for example, we here, so as we start, I go on the left, my right hand start trying to touch her shoulder blade, then I stretch my arm as much as possible because I only put her close to me when we are completely face each other. Then he is when I can bring her close to me. Then we can just come back to normal basic. I'll go this way just to make it easier. So you leaders, you finish on the right. Okay, so as you return to basic, release the right hand, take a step on the left, already reaching the shoulder blade, arm straight because you need to give her space. Then as you go back on the left to start your basic is when you bring her close to you. Okay, so let's go together. So leaders, you finish here, right. Followers, you finish here, left. Okay, so we're going to return to basic. Seven, eight. Step, collect, basic, two, and three. One more time, the same position. Leaders, right foot. Followers, left foot. Under the, the followers position up. So we go seven, eight, step, and a one, two, and three. Okay, easy peasy, kissy kissy. Don't even know what I'm saying. All right, let's try from the beginning, slowly, no stopping. All right, here we go. Seven, basic, one, two, and three, four, E, prep, let it go. E7, 8 and down 1, 2 and 3, 4 and 5, back to basic now, 7, collect and down 1, 2 and 3, 4 and now, release, 7, 8 and down 1, 2 and 3, 4 and Prep now and seven, eight and then one, two and three, four. One more time, six and seven, eight and one, two and three, four and prep, six and seven, eight and one, two and three. Yeah, buddy. Let's try together with the music. <laughs> Let me just remind you guys, this loop, Zoot Loop that I'm using is one of the songs by Alan Z. Okay, so if you guys like it, uh, you can find him on Instagram or Facebook and ask him for the song. Okay, you tell that you, you listen to the song 
with me in the class so he probably can give you like a discount for the CD. Yeah, buddy. Grab five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four. Grab, let go. Seven, lock it up. One, two, three, and four. Go to basic. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Let it go. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, back to basic. One, two, three, four. Let it go. One, two, three, four. Five, back to basic. One. Let's try one more time. I will just change the direction. To maybe give you a different um different um angle to see, okay? Five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, four. Grab, let it go. Seven, lock it up. One, two, three, four. E return back to basic. One, two, three, four, five. Six, let it go, lock it up. One, two, three, four, five, back to basic. One, two, three, four, five, let it go. Yeah, back to basic. Last time, let it go. Basic and one. Yeah, buddy. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lock it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a one. Six and seven. guys had a good time um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you guys want to know more about Cadu and Larissa more classes you want to learn more from us um, we have our website with our online classes okay so if you go Cadu Larissa online one word dot com so over there you can find more than a hundred um, online classes all breaking down the same way we did here also if you can like us on Instagram Cadu e Larissa Instagram or Facebook okay so we always posting new stuff everything about Zook everything about us so make sure you check it out like us over there keep it dancing Zook yeah buddy thank you so much